Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome back to some more Tomb Raider 2. Right, this time I will be revisiting an old video that I did quite a couple of number of years ago. It did rack up quite a few views, about 20,000 to be exact, and I'm surprised that it even got that much. But you would think that with 20,000 views I would get a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand subscribers out of that. But no, because my content was pure lackluster. Oh, and uh, there it goes into demo mode. Alright, but like I was saying... My, con my content back then was pure lackluster. I didn't really know what to do with Sony Vegas. I was really doing basic editing. I wasn't using f uh, Sony Vegas to its fullest extent. So I didn't do any audio balancing. I didn't do any uh, audio cleanup. Not, not that I do any audio cleanup now. The only thing I do is just clear out... Uh, any background noise and that's about it but um anyway let's get back into it okay Laura's home I did say I would get back into this at some stage and revisit it maybe show you some glitches and whatnot who knows but mainly to lock this f back up where he belongs yes welcome back first thing we gotta do is complete this assault course for bigger gaps I need to do a running jump and fail it in less than a second and look there's our buddy old pal creepy Winston Oh god, he gives me chills. Why? What is the point of this guy? I mean, everyone who's played Tomb Raider 2 or any Tomb Raider games knows that he is a creepy... Gotta watch the language, gotta watch the language, you know, because uh, uh, YouTube don't like when you use the language. Well, he was a creepy creep. A creeper. And part-time butler, but mainly a creeper. Okay, right, move your ass, Laura. Let's go, let's go. And yes, as I said, I will be locking this dude up in a couple of places. Well, one place in particular that no one has ever tried before. Well, not to my knowledge. I don't think anyone has ever tried this. But I am going to lock him up in a... God damn it! I am going to lock him up in a secret place. And yes, I am just killing time here because I know this video will be no longer than 10 minutes. You know, gotta trick that uh, pesky YouTube algorithm somehow. Gotta make those clickbait thumbnails. And make that video short as... You know what I mean. Okay, come on. I can complete this. No problem. No sweat. The first time was just a complete muck-up on my behalf. I'm just getting back into the swing of things. And by the way, if I haven't mentioned it already before, I built a new computer so um, it took a while to set EPSXE up again. And yes, I am emulating because uh, one, I have no idea where my original copy of Tomb Raider 2 went. Literally none. I used to have one, in fact I used to have a couple, but I don't know what I did with it, it's just mm, gone. I could have given it to someone, I could have sold it, I could have traded it into GameStop for 50 cent. I do not know, but one thing for sure is I am not paying another dime for a copy of Tomb Raider 2, because I've went through like a good two or three copies of them. Yes, I was that bad at looking after my games when I had a PS1. Slash PS2. Well, okay, fine. Not when I had a PS2, I had a bit of cop on then. I was older. Okay, will I complete this course in under two minutes? Come on, I can do it. I can do it. Go on, Lara, get your ass up there. Come on, grab those nets. Up, up. Go on, move your pixelated booty. Move. Up, 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 up. Oh my god. Larry, you're so slow. God, no, don't move side to side. Get up there. Come on, only 10 seconds left. Grab that, grab that pole. Or zip line. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations. Whoa. You did it. But perhaps I... Feel free to explore the rest of the house and gardens. Yeah, and there's a bit of a glitch in this ISO where the audio gets cut off a little bit. But back to the main thing that I was going to do. 
lock Winston up somewhere in some place special. I mean, sure you've got the fridge inside the, inside the house, but or not the fridge, the freezer. You've got the big ass freezer. In fact, you know, let's let's go back there for a second. Let's go back and visit the big old freezer and everything else in this kitchen that is insanely abnormal. Look at this. I pointed it out in my first video as well. Nothing is to scale. I mean, look at this. This is a sink. This is a kitchen sink. I mean, what the hell is going on here? What were Adios slash Core Design thinking when they made this? I mean, look, you are not supposed to be able to run half a mini marathon across your kitchen countertop. This is not normal. Why? How? Uh, uh, how? This is like a mini bat. I mean, look, even the tap is half the size of... Look, the tap is half the size of Lara. I mean, look at the windows. Look at the windows, too. They're bigger than Lara. Holy Jesus. On a f***ing polo... St oh, whoops. I've got to um, edit that bit out. But holy Jesus. I mean, God damn. Everything is so out of proportion, everything is so out of scale, and I love it. Well, not really. It's just nostalgic. Just complete nostalgia. <sighs> Gotta love the pixelated pool effects too. Boy! At the time, back in, what year did I get a PS1? I think I got it when I was five. Born in 94, yeah. Back in 1999, these were next-gen graphics. Nobody wanted to touch a Sega Genesis or a um, Sega Mega Drive, whatever part of the world you're in. Or a N60. Sorry, no, not an N. Oh, fucking hell, I hit the fucking pop, pop filter on my... Uh, boom stand, my... The thing that's holding my microphone in front of my face. Um, yeah, nobody wanted to go back to play NES games or Sega Genesis games. The PS1 was the shit. Can I say shit? Shit isn't considered a bad word on YouTube, is it? Everyone says shit. Okay, we'll just leave it in. We'll leave it in. Hopefully uh, YouTube won't send me any notification saying naughty naughty you. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Fucking Winston. Boy, can you be any more creepy? Okay, right, back to the main topic of this video. We are going to lock this guy up somewhere special now. I'm not sure if it's possible or not. I know it's possible that he'll follow me in, but I'm not sure whether or not the door will close on him. Now, as you can see where I'm heading now, I'm heading to the maze, which opens a secret door. <clears throat> A secret, door, a secret door in the house. So I'm not sure if this will work to my advantage or not. Or if it will work the way I think it will work. I'm going to lure him down to the uh, treasure room in Lara's house. And see will the door close behind me or behind him. Oh boy, how am I going to get out of here? How? Oh. In fact, I went the completely wrong way, dude. But the question on everyone's mind is, will I make it out in time? That is the million dollar question. Because when I was a kid, I could never get into that cave or that treasure room. It wasn't until like last year, I or not last year, back when I made my first Tomb Raider 2 video that I actually managed to get in there. Just because I put in the effort. Okay, I'm gonna take this, gonna take me my flares because I'll need these. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, run, Lara, run, run your pixelated butt off. And hopefully Winston won't get off. Oh, shit, 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 wrong way, wrong way. And hopefully Winston won't be waiting for me around the corner because I know he'll be the greatest obstacle here. Ah, Fucking hell. Oh, me fucking Tom. Oh, 
Okay, so far so good. No Winston. Yet. Jesus Christ, Winston, move! Move! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go! That door won't stay open forever, you know. Will I make it? Will I make it? Oh my god, please make it. No! <laughs> no! Oh uh, no! God damn! I blame Winston! He cost me that one vital second! Oh no, I'll have to lure him around the other side of the house. Because he'll just keep getting in my goddamn way. Okay, come on, Winston. Follow me. Let's do the opposite course again. Alright, we have it this time. We definitely have it this time. We did a clean run without running into anything or anyone. Winston! In particular. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, 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 boy, that was close. Okay, it closes behind me and this button opens up the door. Okay, I, I get it. I get you. So far, I don't hear any Winston. But just while we're down here, let me show you what it's all about. Okay, gotta get off my flares. Alright, Laura definitely has racked up quite the treasure trove here. We got a secret bookcase. I don't know what that's about. That's something. Maybe a few rare books, but look out the window. Look at all this pixelated gold stuff going on here. Boy! Are you sure you're a Tomb Raider and not a bank robber? Or maybe she's leading a double life. A Tomb Raider and a bank robber. Well, both occupations involve thieving of some sort, so... Uh, eh. So, maybe she's both. She could be both. Now, where is Winston? Come on, Winston. Get your ass down here. Boy. All right, for a second there, I, I thought the game bugged out on me. Winston, where's he? Okay, now I'm honestly worried for Winston's well-being. Winston! Winston, here, boy. <whistles> Jesus, normally he's right behind me. Here he is. Here he comes. Here's that pixelated freak of nature. Hey, Winston, I was looking all over for you. Come here. Hey, buddy, this is where where your pension is kept. You want that pension money, don't you? Come on, Winston, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Any time now. That's it, Winston. Follow me, follow me. Come here, come here, buddy. Come on. Careful now, careful. Careful, watch that step, watch that step. What? Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, all the way down. Yeah, that's right. All the way down into the darkness, don't worry. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Look, a flare. See, I'm not lying. Okay, all the way to the back, Winston. This way, I mean, look, look at all this. This is for you. All of this. All of this just for you. He's shaking with excitement. I mean, can, can you hear that rattling? Yeah, Winston. All of this just for you. Enjoy your pension. You have done me years of service. Years of tea bringing. And just uh, years of being, um, you know... Creepy and Winston ish. So, you like it? 
Oh, of course he likes it. I mean, I mean, look at him. He is the face of joy. Just look at him. He's overwhelmed. Somebody kill me! Oh, 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 oh. Um. Okay, one more flare. Here you go. That's for you. Enjoy your time down here, Winston. Good luck and Godspeed. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run! Wait, doesn't that door normally lock behind me? Oh, come on, please don't tell me that. Please don't tell me that it won't close. Come on, close. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta close, you gotta close, man. Winston is coming up here, you gotta close. Oh, man, that won't close, it won't close, will it? Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, for a fake sake. Well, that was disappointing. <sighs> Wait, would that permanently stay open now? Is that actually permanently open? Well, excuse you. Oh boy. Well, that was absolutely pointless. Uh well. I did say I'd lock him in somewhere specific, but I will not disappoint. I will not disappoint, okay? That is the purpose of this video, to lock Winston in somewhere different. The fridge be damned, or not the fridge, the freezer. The freezer be damned. And I did say that I'd show you a few glitches. One specifically being the corner glitch, but it all revolves around locking Winston in somewhere. Okay, come on, get your ass up there, Laura. Okay, that's part one done. Now part two. Okay, we've just got to ease ourselves over to the edge like so and just slightly tip on the D-pad, get the angle right and up we go. Yeah! There we go. Up and over. Easy peasy, lamb and squeezy. Right now, you may be asking, well, runner, how does this all uh, pertain to locking Winston in to somewhere? And I will show you. It's not that we'll be technically locking him in, more so keeping him in and keeping myself out and away from creepy old guy hands. Uh. Ah, look at that view. Ah, uh, don't you just love that 2D plane? <laughs> oh, I love old technology. And old retro consoles. Okay. Right. Okay, here we go. Now, how, how, do, how do I go about doing this again? I have to get over to that wall. Um. Okay. I, I got this. Oh no, I don't got this! <laughs> oh no. Oh well, balls. Alright, alright. I said I'd lock Winston in somewhere and I intend on doing it. Debts or no debts? Well, there has been one debt already, so. Um, touche, Winston, touche. Again, it's going to be another corner glitch. Ok, 
Okay, just gotta line myself up again. Do a bit of a fancy sideways step. And hop. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, that's how we do it in Rural Country. Oof. Thank God for invisible barriers. Okay, and we run up along the wall all the way around until we get to the front gate. <gasps> oh boy, that was so close. <laughs> but yeah. Good luck trying to get through here, Winston. Well, whenever Winston will show up. Look at you now, Winston. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, for the love of God, I thought he was going to come through the gate and get me. But yeah, he's finally behind bars. Well, good luck and Godspeed, Winston. You can have the house. You can have everything. I don't need it. Cheerio, old chap. I'm out of here. <gasps> oh no, there's nothing but a non-existent 3D plane. It's not even 3D, it's not even 2D, it's just, um, I don't know what the term is, but uh, it's just nothingness, I can't get through. Oh well, Winston, uh, not, well, Winston, in all fairness, you do get the better deal. I mean, look, you get, you get a big giant ass house, nice garden, swimming pool and all, and me, just, um, this vast expanse of nothingness plus this little plot of land but you know what I think it's uh, the better of the two is you know what I, I don't have to deal with your creepy ass breaking out through, through these gates I mean I mean you could you could glitch out I, I don't know maybe I hope you don't but you know what at least if I can keep an eye on you from here I should be safe I, I think that I won't die of a heart attack in my sleep unless of course you're standing over me with a, a creepy grin on your face and saying something like, Miscroft, your tea, your tea, Miscroft. Then, uh, yeah, I'd probably ship myself and die. But no, you, you, you get the better deal, though. Big house. Okay, but seriously, we have one more place to lock him out from this time. And that involves getting back in. And to do that, we go up to this corner and do another uh, corner glitch here. If it is a pussy bee... It definitely is possible. Just takes an insane amount of skill. Which I do have, by the way. Oh, yeah, look, boy. I thought I'd be 10 minutes doing that at least. But look, here I am. Back where I started. And speaking of starting, we are going back to the obstacle course. And this is where we will do another glitch. Well, not really a glitch. More so of an exploit. By the way, one thing that I am looking into, maybe making this a bigger series, if I can, with the use of mods. Now, I'm not sure if I can use mods. Feel free to explore the rest of the house and gardens. Okay, thanks for that input, Laura. Uh, now, I'm not sure if I can use mods on the PS1 emulator or not. I'm not sure if mods even exist for Tomb Raider 2. Or, yeah, Tomb Raider 2 on the uh, PS1. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. If they do... We should have a bit of fun. And speaking of fun, this is where... Oh, wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm in the totally wrong area for this. I actually have to uh, go through the obstacle course again to get where I want to be. But through the power of Sony Vegas, I will magically appear where I want to be right about now. Right, that didn't take too long. Only 1.5 seconds. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is take a running jump at this wall and grab on using the X button and boom, we are in the house free of Winston. Both doors are locked and he won't be getting in anytime soon. Now, believe it or not, I think I may have said this in my first video, I had no idea how to get in here before. It was my cousin who had to show me and say, Hey, Rob, you dumbass, there's a button here that you have to press to get into the house. I had no idea. It literally did not occur to me to press a button. I did not know that there was even a button to press. I did not know that there was buttons to press in this game because I mainly spent my time fooling about the obstacle course. 
Namely because I could not get past the Great Wall. I was so shit at games when I was younger. I was such a kid. Well, yeah. We are now officially free from Winston. As you can see, the front door is locked. That can only be opened from the outside. And then there's the kitchen door. But uh, I think if you go out through the kitchen door, you uh, can't lock it anymore. Pretty much like the other secret door back in the hallway. See, like so. Now Winston can get in and torture me. So I think that about wraps it up for this video. Now, uh, maybe I'll get back into Tomb Raider 2 and see about mods again. Or maybe I'll just restart the story from scratch and do another Let's Play series on it. Because, because I have done a Let's Play series uh, on the story or true story mode. But I've been using cheats so I don't think it does me any justice. So I might go back and redo that, privatize all those videos and play it legitly. Who knows? But either way, guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy the commentary by some insane amount of luck. Be sure to hit that like button, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.